everyone. Uh, so we just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview as to what you would do in the field when trying to put together a sedimentary log. So you can see behind me we've got a lovely sequence of sedimentary rocks but we need to do an initial reconnaissance over this uh, kind of exposed area to understand how we would actually approach that log. So the first thing I hope you can all realise is we've got some nice beds in here however a dipping you can see there's a bit of a dip to the bed going off into the kind of the ground or away from me downwards and that's really important when we're logging because we're going to measure it ever so slightly different now the, the next thing we need to understand is which way is up so which way is it young in is it young in upwards or is it going to be young in downwards remember we can have overturned sequences so we need to analyze these rocks to understand how we're going to log either up or down the sequence. Now lucky for you I've poured all over this outcrop and I found some lovely right way up indicators. Now these let us know which way is up, which way youngin is in this sequence. Now right way up indicators include erosional bases, they've obviously got to be at the base, but also sedimentary structures, uh, so for example ripples or trough cross bedding. So, Let's just zoom in over here and I hope that you can all see on this surface we've got this rippled surface just in here. They're really nice 3D ripples here. In cross section that's the ripple there but on top just like you would on a modern day beach we can actually see that rippled surface. So what this tells us is actually Youngin is up in this direction and that's also indicated by the fact that we've got some cross bedding just over there which I'm not going to go to or else I'm going to get wet feet. Now, the other, now we know which way is up it means that we can log up the sequence that way Every, nothing's been overturned we're younging in this direction so the next thing you need to understand is how much you're going to log so what you will do is you, again you do that reconnaissance across the whole area want to log. You know where the base is which is just down here and let's say the top is just on that little uh, little ridge there with the um, lichen on it and then you measure that whole section so that you can organize your notebook appropriately. Understand the scale at which you need to log. So let's just say that's the top of the log. I've done that reconnaissance. Now let's get to measure it. This brings us back to the fact that these beds are dipping. So I'm going to bring out my workman rule. This isn't how I should measure the bed. If I go straight up, I'm not actually measuring the bed in correctly because it's dipping. I'm just measuring how high this cliff is. But if I want to get the true thickness of this bed, I need to angle my tape measure to ensure that I do that. So usually I take a structural measurement to be really sure which way bedding is. I've done that. to do that appropriately. So hopefully you can see it's perpendicular to the bedding. The bedding base is down here somewhere, bedding top up here, so that is how I would measure it. So you need to make sure you're angling your tape measure. This is not the true thickness. That is the true thickness. So that's your overview now. So you can all go off and do all those lovely sedimentary logs out on any uh, rock out 